Hey, good evening, everybody. We're just out doing a little bit of exploring tonight. Um, jumping around. Going to test some stuff out really fast. I might restart the stream here in a bit because I think something is not. We'll see. Who will prevail? Does it matter? That hurt? There it is. We knew we were going to hit the level up. We were super close. Not that used to lighting enemies on fire first. probably do is take a break in a little bit and then reset so we can get just have a stream that's just leveling up if we get a bunch of uh, vectors or something in here hmm. follow my lead security Karen okay. I know the way. I feel as though there should be something more here. See, these are. But I'm kidding. That's. Uh, Let's see what this thing. Hmm. Ah, here. Okay, so let's pause. Search through the box. Okay, we got a gnome hooked hammer. That sounds interesting. An ancient colored rope fragment. I'll go ahead. Oh, what's this? Uh oh. Eaten by a giant. I guess that's a good end. Oh, gratis. I must consider the matter. Here to so I, I, I act as an ally of the orcs and struggle against the powerful sorcerer. Okay. 
I gave them a chance. Sorry, giant. Those poor giants. Oh, I didn't want that great club. Okay, so that's that. All according to plan. Let's go um, back up this way. Go to that mysterious shrine. God, I really do hate that it won't let me look away. Nah, we were just it's too much good television on with Mr. Robot. That show, the act, the writing, the acting, uh, this season such a highlight. Okay, maybe another one of those. Follow my lead. Okay, I think the second one we found, so we'll put that in the second slot. In due time. I don't know how you're supposed to solve this puzzle.
even not much else there. Um, I need to go here to these charred ruins. Take six hours. More strength fades. We could probably do it evening. even even. Unless it turns out to be a big dungeon or something. Skillfully crafted. Interesting. Okay. Make that fifteen hundred gold. I'll go ahead. Now I'll go ahead. I am yours to command. What? Come on, everybody. Not leave uh, Valerie out here by herself. Okay, let's go talk to this. All according to plan. All according to plan. I like these little side rooms. They're like little, little encounters. Okay, should we talk to the golem first or get the loot? How about we save first? Not not to tired. The dust. Legs weak, stomach empty. Ooh. Wow, plus six dex damage resistance five. Okay, so we want that. Hope it not fight back. Best kind of fight. Okay. Knock knock used to lighting enemies on fire first. Yeah, I don't like that not, gear. Not more runner and talker than fighter. More strength. If they're gonna let us Follow position me. ourselves, let's position ourselves. Me? Mm. Head down. Move quiet. Ready for anything. Ready to stab. I move unseen. I won't let you down. This spell's not supposed to work like that. Here. Not not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Not good, you dead. Metal? We'll take that. I know the way. Okay. Well, there, there was nothing in there. So that was just that. We got this sash. But who can we put this sash on? Well, I think we've got an answer there. They're using the other ones.
Hey, cat. How's it going? I'm doing pretty well. A little bit of a headache. More strength fades. Let's see. What do we got over here? We're just out. I leveled up. We were like so close to level last night. So I came and just did random encounter to level up. And then I thought I'd explore a tiny bit. I haven't started the level up process because I'm... I don't really want to take an hour <laughs> just doing it right now. Uh, let's see. We're pretty much done with... We wrapped up pretty much everything. We're waiting for this. I don't know how this deal with the devil uh, quest chain is going to play out next. Um, Linixia ran off and then we told Darwin to leave our leave our kingdom um it was bad combat maneuvers can be used more than once in a full attack I have no idea You're talking um, stuff like trip and like bull rush, disarm and under geo bash. Geo bash is an attack, though. I think I think it's a combat maneuver. We should gather our strength. Oh, that's right. We need to rest. Um, are we still? Yeah, like disarm and syndrome. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, trip is another one. Um, I think there's grapple, but I don't know if they have grapple really. Oh, we need to go all the way out here to this temple of Shalin. You know, we're really close to it. Have we been here? Hold on. What is... Fatigue is just a minus two penalty, right? Yeah, okay. So we could, we, we're probably good if we go in here. I kind of have a feeling that combat maneuvers aren't... Let's see here. Well, thanks, random thing that I thought was going to show me the Pathfinder SRD in, but no. Combat maneuvers are those that can be used in fights to weaken enemies and may allow for more attacks opportunities. All combat maneuvers require either the power attack feat or or the expertise feat. The chance of a successful combat maneuver is based on the combat maneuver bonus. The agile maneuvers. Huh. Whenever you successfully perform a dirty trick, whenever you successfully perform a disarm, I wonder. I wonder if you can like load up multiples of those and try to fire them all off at once. More strength, fakes. I'll go. Ahead. I would guess that they're not. I would. I would guess that it's like a. You have to choose a combat maneuver to perform. Where now? I don't think it's like these things that Knock Knock can do. Give the order. But power attack is a toggle. I mean, that turns it on. I don't have any other 
All according to plan. I don't have any combat maneuvers. Ooh, what's this? What do we have here? Um, a portal to the first world? I think if I'm going to go through this portal, I'm probably going to want to rest, but I don't want to waste my time. I'm kind of short on time. Not me, but my characters are kind of short on time. <sighs> Chair keeps we sinking. Gather all not, not tired. Legs weak. Stomach empty. Tired. Look, knock, knock, and everybody, man up, up and up, go, goblin up. I know the way. Like if yeah, yeah, if you had both disarm and sunder armor, what would happen if you do a full attack? If you have them both off. Do they? Is Sunder Armor and Disarm, are those not just Don't new hesitate. buttons you get on your bar? That you would just turn on? Yeah, I don't know. Let me see. I don't know if I have any. This Hornigan Smash is an automatic thing. It's passive. I have Shatter Defenses. But it's also passive. I don't have any of them that are... Well, I have Dazzling Display. But I don't have anything else that... I don't even have any of the combat maneuvers. Hmm. Follow It'd be interesting. I'm interested to find out. Who will prevail? Whoa, Does Poisonous Primal Doom Hydra. Cannot hide from me. I don't like that. I'm not doing any damage to it at all. Alright. But this is this was dumb. I was goofing around and wasn't paying attention. That somehow got knock knock in the middle of. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Are you? I know what to, to do. Death word on that. Tashani Savitur. Tashani Savitur. Grotus awaits us. Tashani Savitur. Follow my. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Can't remember the name of that. Come on. Let's see if we can get this Doom Hydra this time. Time to search for the spot to rest. Okay, which way did we go? Did we go this way? We did go that way. Dave. We should I know the way. Strength. Okay. Delf. Delf. Silent. Deadly. Hope it not fight back. Can Best kind of fight. Repent. Let us strike as one. Get some haste going. Um, <clears throat> Octavia. 
Let's see, what is this thing? Damage reduction. Cold iron to get past it. Steam backup data for this. Uh, I don't. I mean, I. You can take your save games and locally copy them over. But what do you mean by Steam backup data? Oh. I mean, all your save games are stored locally, so, and then uploaded to to Steam when you finish, when you exit a session, it's slow, but you can just go grab that Volt save folder and copy it to another location and keep a local backup. Okay, one of these people has yeah. communal... Patience. We have our you know poison resist somewhere. One of my casters you can does. Count on me. I am prepared. There it is. Oh okay. Yeah, hold on, let me find it. Uh it would be in do to do to do 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 I believe it is in your Steam Steam apps Common Pathfinder Kingmaker data uh, no that's not where the save games save games are uh, Program data. Mm. I had it. I had a shortcut. Yeah, it's app data. App data, not program data. Bah. Uh, users, Aragon, app data, and then it's roaming, I think. And then, uh, no, oh, no, no, local, 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 low, Alcat, there it is, Alcat Games, Pathfinder. And then, so, do to do. You want to go to your like for Steam. And go to like your C colon users, and then your user folder, and then look for that app data local low Alcat games Pathfinder Kingmaker, and there's a save games folder in there, and you'll see all your save games. Earlier, I was modding one of the save game files, and I uh, I just made a copy of the entire folder, <laughs> copied it over to another drive, so I could edit it and try it out, try something. 
I believe that's also where your portraits folder is. If you're going to use custom portraits, you'd put a portrait, make a portraits folder there. Hey, Pascal. How are you doing tonight? Well, I don't know if it's night or day for you. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, okay, back to, back to dealing with this thing. Okay, so let us try one more time. Valerie just keeps she's so slow. Let us strike as one. Okay, so everybody get up there. And then Octavia's gonna hit this thing with a snowball. And I'm going to haste everybody. Actually, I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna haste everybody. And Ekans going to Hurricane Bow. And I think everybody else is just doing their thing. Uh... Now Octavia hit it with a... Nope. Oh. There we got it that time. Yeah, let's back out of this cloud and let it dissipate. More strength. Thanks. Don't you hate it when the sound of your computer making static noise? I cannot stand that. One of the reasons why I don't wear headphones. Most it's another reason. But a lot of that time, though, it's because of the interference from, like, depending on your Follow connection. Me. These wireless headphones I got, these Logitech ones, they've been pretty great. Don't get a lot of interference on them. But I had a pair of old headphones that just plugged straight into the headphone port and the front panel connector was terrible. I would get noise all the time. I know the way. I think eat this. Oh, what do we get? The wearer of these gloves can successfully land the hit with a melee weapon, an unarmed striker, a natural weapon. The target takes. Okay, do we have anybody who's wearing gloves that would like to not wear? I was just wearing these gloves to hold them, so here, do that. Now, whenever he hits, he's going to do another 1d6 of acid damage. We're just going to make Knock Knock into a freaking machine. Okay, I feel I'll like there should ahead. have been something else here. I mean, that, that Doom Hydra was up, but it wasn't too that tough. All according to plan. Yeah, the other wired pair of headphones I have. Not, not I had tired. to. There was Lake the one headphone jack in the actual. Stomach empty. Um, coming out of the motherboard on the back caused less problems. Um, and the USB wired headphones I had weren't too bad. But I hate that that like interference noise you can get. Give you that little, you like a static hum in the back. Okay, well that was that. Let's leave. I mean, I guess since we're already over here, we might as well do the thing with Amory, or not with Amory, with Valerie. More strength fades. Cause we're not that far. Probably should level up. The time to do it. Um, yeah, let's rest. Uh, I really want to eat. 
I usually use this when I'm out running around. I need to buy some more flour. I haven't seen many pictures, but those I have seen were beautiful. Okay. You would think otherwise if you'd seen as many as I have. They are cold, pretentious, and useless. And Valerie just... I kind of feel like she's got first world problems. I don't like art. Ooh, wow, what a crossroads. Um, here we are right here. The boulders are scattered around this place bear the marks of creature's fangs. It's something old and very tame. Here we This is my favorite part of the game. So maybe the second favorite. My favorite part of the game has been doing those big dungeons. Those that's been that that's my favorite. Then this is exploring, doing these little encounters. I really enjoy them. Follow my lead. Gargoyle from the Horfrost tribe. Okay. Tribe of Gargoyles. Did it tell us what alignment they are? No. <laughs> but they do bewildering bewildering injuries. We will be not just sighting enemies on fire first. These people just need to hold their horses. Hey, get back here, Octavia. Be easy if you not fight back. No oh, man, not knocks on a spree. Look at that. The corpses of the Horfrost tribe. Sorry, Horfrost tribe. We were just. Oh, that's some. In due time. Why is that box here? The weird place for just this one piece of cargo. Cargo. This is for you. <laughs> That one went deep. <laughs> oh, knock knock. You're the best. Look ahead. Ooh, a rock. Okay. Why why is this tiny little rock full of two handed hammers? Like that's a bunch of terrible loot just be hanging out there in a rock. Shoot those from down here. I don't think I can. I like that one of my fastest characters is now my dwarf. I know the way. Did I, what did I do to those boots? He's wearing the swift boots. He's light. Her 
movement speed. Where does it say movement speed? Forty. Thirty. Forty. Thirty. Forty. Yet yeah, somehow she always ends up in the back. Okay, let's stealth. See if we can get into position here so my tank can actually be up front. Look, she. It's mostly because Dog likes to jump in front. Oh, these guys didn't get the memo. trying not to use any spells oh, right go. now, if I can help it, because we're about to go do a actual companion thing, and I'd rather not... I don't know if I'm going to need my spells for that. Cannot hide from me. I am yours to command. Who will prevail? Does it matter? <laughs> Oh, the Elder Chieftain. Okay, so now we're going to use some spells. <laughs> well, let's try with this. Let's start with that one first. You're going to throw a thing. And you're going to bang. His health is I hope did not go down at all. Sky metal. I'll go ahead. Weird. This was a weird encounter. This little switchbacks. Felt odd. I kind of expected us to have like a little cave up there or a little uh, stash that was more than just a stack of normal earthbreakers. Look, once again, Aram is just out in front and Valerie is like in the back. Um, makes me wonder. Next location, please. Next location. Man. Yeah, maybe if I played again another time through, I'll take the tieflings with me more and learn how to play them. Okay, so that goes to nothing. Let's see what's going on this one. Uh, no, we were already there. We know. Stop wasting time. Hmm. Let me get down to that area. Someone on the road. Get ready. Ooh. <clears throat> Our road once again led us to the borders of Pitax, where the bandits, unconcerned for the law, often lie in wait for innocent victims. Imagine how surprised we were when instead of bandits we bumped into a guard patrol. 
Could it be that King Arabetti was determined to restore order along his border? I've seen all sorts of miracles, but this would be hard to believe. The guard kindly informed us that the borders were closed due to a travel ban. This was not because of a war or a plague, but because of the celebration. The kingdom was preparing for the Rushlight Tournament, and the king was busy giving personal consultations to painters and artists and the masters of the stage who would be responsible for the event. The queen and I exchanged smiles. Be bad for the poor artists. According to the guard, the king ordered the borders closed to keep the secret details of keep secret the details of his coming triumph. The guardsmen were polite but adamant. Fortunately, we had no reason to challenge him and fight our way into pit tops. Before someone could disgrace us with an ignorant question about the tournament, I gave my friends a short lecture. The queen specifically asked what would happen if we violated the ban. Unable to stop myself, I blurted out, could it be the true reason for this ban is to prevent King Yorvari's subjects from leaving the country? Okay, then she described stuff. Then she blurted out. Then I asked why we have a diplomatic crisis. We have no reason to violate the ban. Okay, so we can't get to Wicked Hill today. And I bet if we go this way, we're going to run into that also. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we'll do this. I bet this one also leads us down to the band. If this is all the area we're not supposed to be into. Uh, which means probably down here also. Okay, let's go do this event. Probably like five times because I'll try to do different things. Er, it's cold in here. Good for my computer. Bad for me. <laughs> I accidentally turn us around and we just leave. Alright, let's go find out what's going on. It's a priest of Shaylin. Beauty and peace await you at all of Shaylin's temples. Stay for at least a little while and feel the grace of the eternal rose. don't want to talk to you. Can I go in here? <sighs> Nobody notices. Knock knock. I like to imagine that it was knock knock and Octavia kind of have this ongoing uh, game that they're playing to see what they can steal without being noticed. So our, our group there wasn't all of us walking up to that chest. It was you know, just walking around, taking in the sights. Valerie's telling us about stuff. And meanwhile, in the corner, uh, Octavia and Knock Knock are pushing each other out of the way to get to the chest. That's the story I tell. Priest of Shaylin, keep going this door. One here. This is the jail we're going to be thrown into when, when the fight breaks out. <sighs> Alright. Safe. Here we go. Let's find out what's going to happen with, with Valerie. She's here to answer for her crimes. To Larian. Her crimes of her original sin. Okay, who we got over here? Uh, how does he say his name? Hmm. I know what to do. Also, I'm wearing my crown. Okay, let's go talk to Fredo. Fredo sounds like a nice person. My respect, your highness. 
do we have over here? I've led this Orton fighting. Reese seems eager to speak with you. <laughs> Alright, fine. Well, look who's here. Queen Citra, my respects. I see you've brought company. Why, yes. Hegged. It is Hegged. Finally. For a woman balancing on the edge of excommunication, you are sluggish, Valerie. Valerie turns her head towards the pound and gives him an icy look. I'm never in a hurry to meet those who would seek petty revenge upon the innocent for another's alleged transgression. <laughs> he notices knock knock and chokes with fury. <laughs> this is why knock knock is so great. I'm a lawful good leader, I'm trying to keep my country straight, narrow. Orderly, honorable, and he's all. Knock knock is just crazy. Knock knock brings the fun. Um, and this, how dare you drag this abomination into the temple of the goddess? Okay, please, knock knock, say something. Please. Knock knock grimaces and sticks his tongue out. Yes! Stink is awful. What are those? Flowers? Ew. Now please, everyone, be calm. Let's not hurry with the accusations and hasty decisions. In the end, we're in a sacred place. Arguments over this vaulting are unacceptable. Um. Which you use behind the dirty rumors about my kingdom? Uh, who are you? My name is Larian. I am a priest of Shaylin. A leader of the local congregation. For now. At least until my place is taken by a permanent priest from the Order of Prisms. For now, I am a spiritual advisor and mentor to respected Hegged and his people. The paladins of Shalin who require the advice of more experienced devotees. I am not going to be able to keep up that goofy voice. Um, okay, what is this? Uh, you want to leave? I want to leave... I want you to leave Valerie alone. Uh, what is this place? Let's try a different place. Kind of got a big old man beard there. Hmm. This temple, the Temple of Lenses, is a new abbey for one of the orders of Shailen. The priest looks up at the vault in admiration. A beautiful architectural masterpiece, isn't it? Such sophisticated building will make a splendid home for the Order of Prisms. Yeah, I like this voice better. Aram looks around. The dwarf mindlessly thrusts his hand into his beard and tugs at it, mumbling something fiercely. I ought to have Aram use his, uh, his touch and just shatter this building. Uh, which of you is behind the dirty rumors of my kingdom? I see there's a whole company here. Evelyn bows in her fine manner. I respect my queen. I came at the special invitation of Sir Hagen. How could I refuse a paladin of my beloved patron? Fredo, my respects to you and Valerie. Fredo nods to you and looks at Valerie. Seeing the scar, he purses his lips and shakes his head sorrowfully. I heard about what happened to you. But seeing it with my own eyes, eyes is unbearable. Believe me, I never wanted this. To be honest, I don't even remember striking the blow. That guy, man. The wrinkle on Valerie's forehead softens. We settled our argument in battle, Fredo. As for the scar, I've been wearing my wounds for a long time. We'll see. I don't have the slightest desire to meddle in the affairs of Shailen or followers. I demand only one thing. Stop slandering me and my subjects. Which you use behind the dirty rumors about my kingdom. We say the truth. And you call it dirty rumor. We're protectors of Shaylin and all who call her patron. It is ridiculous to hear the charge of slander from one who has befriended a viper. Your friend blackens the name of the goddess herself. I will pass unremarked this vague, the vaguely, ins the vaguely veiled insults. In the end, 
I have doubtful honor of talking to a coward who can only throw around empty words without ungrounded accusations. You're too spineless to meet me face to face and make your claims in person. That's why you prefer to strike on the sly. Calm down. Although I do not approve the methods of the respected Haggard, I will not tolerate jokes at the expense of the Paladin of Shalin in her very temple. Uh, and you enjoy mocking Valerie and the Queen? Why are there so many hypocrites among the followers of supposedly kind gods? That's a good question. I don't mind... This, uh, I don't have the slightest desire to meddle in the affairs of Shaylin or her followers. I demand only one thing. Stop slandering me and my subjects. Or do I stick up for Valerie? I want you to leave Valerie alone. She serves me and owes no debt to Shaylin. <laughs> I do like the chaotic evil. I will consecrate your precious temple with your own blood. Jeez. Um, we'll stick up for Valerie. Divine responsibilities surpass all worldly vows and commitments. Valerie was promised to Shaylin and rejected that honor. Now Valerie returns to her order and insults Shaylin again. It is time to repent and answer for your transgression. I tried to forget everything they stuck in my head in the order, but I remember one thing for certain. Shaylin is not revengeful or stern. I don't believe your words, Paladin. You're right, Valerie. Oh, it's, it's Larian again. You're right, Valerie. Our goddess is not stern with those who misstep, which is why you need not fear the divine trial. It is just an old tradition. Its name is just an old tradition. Valerie looked down, and an expression can be taken for an abashment freezes on her face. What exactly is Valerie accused of? Of persistent disrespect and insolence towards Shaylin's order, and the goddess herself. The Order of the Eternal Rose disavowed this woman, but we, the Order of Prisms, will finish what was started. If Valerie refuses to repent, she shall sh suffer punishment. If Shaylin's newest order appears each time another one stops persecuting me, my disrespect for your goddess will only grow. You are creating the very thing that you so diligently fight, but are incapable of understanding this. What trial are you talking about? There he unfolds his hands. A divine trial is a special ritual carried out by the followers of a god for someone who has lapsed in their faith. It is not well known, but it is used on those for whom there is still hope for returning to the church, or at least for making peace. <sighs> making peace indeed. Valerie, who rejected my lady, should not count on being coddled. Hmm, maybe this trial will bring you some peace. Valerie is silent for a few moments and takes her breath. Very well, I will endure this trial if it helps put an end to this. Thank you for agreeing, Valerie. Let's begin. <laughs> Jalen's divine trial has commenced. May she be merciful to the lost and confused. It is a time to listen to all sides and decide what fate awaits Valerie. Today, under the vaulting of the Temple of Prisms, we followers of the Goddess will give you, Valerie, a chance to redeem yourself in the eyes of Shaylin and... Enough, Larian. Everybody present knows she doesn't deserve redemption. She has lost the right to forgiveness on the day she rejected Shaylin's grace. Rado clears his throat to attract everyone's attention. I didn't come here to stand silent like an idol. When I challenged Valerie to a duel, she agreed. We fought according to the rules and our argument was settled. Think of you will of Valerie, but at least she showed me some respect. I never wanted to insult anyone. I wanted, all I wanted, all I dreamed of was to choose my own way. Wait, Valerie despises Shaylin and everything she touches. Don't confuse her good manners with obedience to the goddess. Everyone can choose their own path. You and Fredo chose Shaylin's phone and Valerie turned away from it. That doesn't mean you can interfere with her life. Okay, I am not going to say either of those things. I really want to do this. 
I'm afraid if I say something, it's going to mess things up. What's this called? Everybody seems upset about this quest. But nobody's telling me what happens if I interfere. Which makes me think that... Oops. Oh well, we don't need that. Which makes me think that I should just not bother. Hmm. All right, well, let's try this. It may surprise you, but I agree with you. Once my blood cooled, I started to realize that my complaints about Valerie were a little excessive. Good job, Fredo. Enough about Fredo. We don't have that much time. Valerie gives us much to consider, according to her master. According to her masters at the Order of the Eternal Rose, she's always been noble and merciful. Stories about the valor she showed in Bravoa spread far beyond his borders. How many did this fearless warrior save from the fire at Jamandi Aldore's house? They and many others owe their lives to her. I did what I had to, no more, no less. What would you say about all those you've killed since? Be honest with yourself, Valerie. You're a warrior, not a nurse. Uh, I think I'm going to keep quiet right now because none of these options, these options are all like... Uh, so much smugness in her words, so much pride. Valerie closes her eyes in irritation and swallows heavily. You feel she is about to scream. Enough! I'm tired of this endless babble. I shall prove that Valerie is a capricious and dishonorable woman who has twisted her life in a pursuit of a single goal. Arm everything that is precious to Shaylin. I have a reliable witness that can confirm my statement. I present Sir Evelyn. This lady insulted me in front of my audience for no reason at all. Arrested me with brutal force. And the worst part was when the dust settled and our blood cooled, Valerie didn't even think to apologize for her behavior. I say that only confirms her maliciousness. I'm gonna fail. Oh, I succeeded! Larian raises a brow and looks at Evelyn over his glasses. Oh, was this man's art meant to do harm? No, well, I possibly, just possibly, I might have drawn some inspiration from a certain poetic punishment. Uh, um. Then I cannot accept your statement. Leave this temple. <laughs> Valerie raises her head and takes a deep breath, as if awakening from a deep sleep. She looks through the temple's decoration and raises her hand. I've stood here listening to your arguments for long enough. Now it is my turn to speak. My departure from the Order of the Eternal Royals was not an insult to Shaylin or her followers. All I wanted was to devote my life to what was important to me. 
The goddess's followers never gave me a single chance to walk my own path. Do I value art? No. Am I ready to serve it? No. Do I respect those who have brought so much trouble to me and my queen? No. But there are some of you, like me, who dream of just one thing, to carry out your chosen duty. Valerie turns to Larian and lowers her head. If all servants of Shaylin were like you, my parting from the Order would have been much more peaceful. Maybe I don't forgive, deserve forgiveness in the eyes of Shaylin. Maybe fanatics like Sir Hagen would be happier to see me in the noose. But I see now that no one. Uh, but I now, ah, golly! But I see now that no one. Okay, I see now that one shouldn't laugh at another's way just because one doesn't understand or share it. But now speak openly before you. My conscience is definitely clear. If you wish to judge me for the fact that in my that my opinion is different from yours. He cuts her off. The divine trial is over. Jalen has made her decision. About what? How? Valerie touches her face. The scar is gone. Look at that. <laughs> oh, when? I didn't even notice. Wait, Chewie. Egged, white as a sheet, points at Valerie with a trembling hand. But, but, but why? Larian, High Priest of Shaylin, look at her, my friend. She is proud, but who could expect otherwise from a creature of such amazing beauty? Now Shaylin's light fills Valerie's soul, and the child is filled with renewed radiance. The thorn that pricked has been burned away. The goddess shows Valerie a way to the source of light and beauty. No! And he pulls out his weapon and shakes it in the air, rolling his bloodshot eyes. The witch has deceived Shaylin. Only I know the will of the goddess. Death to Valerie. Wait, what? Um. Okay, knock knock. You go take care of that one. Aram, you go there. Valerie, you go there. Saitra. Um, you go there. This should do it. Nowhere to run. Valerie is panting and wiping sweat for her forehead. This is it, finally. Valerie turns to Larry and looks at him unexpected. I think it's obvious to everyone here that they are... Uh, that, that bloodshed is always a heavy burden on the shoulders of Shaylin's followers. Forgive them, Valerie. Blind faith clouded their judgment and pushes towards violence. Desecrating this holy place, Shaylin's light will not be returning to this vaulting. Grado puts away his weapon, looking sour, but we will do everything in our power to wash away this disgrace. On the behalf of the Eternal Rose, I offer you, Valerie, and you, Your Highness, my sincerest, apo sincerest apologies. The Order of the Prisms is young and too zealous in their judgments of events and signs. There's nothing else for us to do here, Saitra. If you don't mind, I'd like to be done with this place. That didn't exactly feel like visiting a temple a kind that didn't exactly feel like visiting the temple of a kind goddess your scar was sent by Shaylin herself possibly probably I don't know anyway I must have done something that made Shaylin take it back the girl shakes his head shakes her head I don't even want to think about it I need some air to clear my head let's talk later cool Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
paladins murdered that priest. Okay, well. You know, we got some masterwork swords. Masterwork club. And more potions that we're not going to use. Because, you know, we're dumb. Okay, well, we succeeded at that. I guess whatever bugs people had with this before must have gotten fixed. Because... That played out about how I expected. Cool. I like that. That was awesome. Okay, well. I guess since we can't explore any more in that area. Uh... Yeah, because it wasn't going to let us go south anywhere here. Um, will it let us go this way? Yeah, I bet that won't let us go any further that way either. I wonder if we can cross down here. Uh, let's go here first. We should gather our strength. Yes, 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 we should gather our strength. First, we're going to check to see if we can get into... Random encounter. Random encounter! Go! What do we got? Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, what are these things? Wherever. Oh my god. Really? Okay. okay. Time to search for the spot to rest. To the dust Onward. you will go. Here, you go over there. Stay behind me. Oh. Shooting fish in a barrel. Wasted. Not not tired. I'm not afraid. Legs weak. Your life Stomach ebbs empty. low. Your life ebbs low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Each step brings us closer to the end. One each step brings us closer to the end. You know, I didn't like Karim for a long time. And I am glad. I don't remember who it was last week told me that I, um, that Harem wasn't so bad if I respect him back to Cleric. And yes, we yes should for the record, I did cheat a little. His stats are a little higher than they should be. I thought it was kind of rude that his stats were surprisingly lower than everybody else. Okay, so yeah, that did block us from contact. He had bad stats. Okay, so what do we have left to do? Okay, does anybody know what's up with this deal with the double quest? I imagine it's just going to be another random encounter on the road. I wonder if I have to be in a certain place or go back to my town. Okay, we need to talk to Valerie again. We can just probably enter any location and do that. Hey, Lauren. You don't happen to know what's up with this, uh... Deal with the devil quest with uh, Linuxia, the Hell Knights.
<laughs> yes. It just, if you count up the points that he has available, he has, he has less point spread than some of the other characters. I mean, Knock Knock is freaking a powerhouse. But yeah, I did bump up Aram staff a little bit. And now it's now he's full of now I've just loaded him up with all sorts of gear that buffs his stats to make up for the differences so or the dis, uh, deficits. Also, I didn't really want to play him as a uh, frontline kind of cleric because I had been using Tristian for so long. But then when the game took Tristian, you know, made me. I got to a point where it's like, well, I need to use harem for a while, so. I know the way. And I did give him shield wall, and I finally gave uh, Valerie shield wall. So when they stand next to each other, their armor class. <laughs> These low end random encounters. More strength fades. He's a pretty good. He's a pretty good frontline cleric. I still prefer the kind of back row healer, but he's grown on me in the last week. We should gather our strength. Ekin is also his stats are way high compared to Harem. I think Lindsay's a little low, but I just like Lindsay's character, so she. He was fine when I had her. I just didn't really get into your. Well, I guess we'll just head back to our home. Head back to the capital. I don't see anything else. Let's just see. Maybe we'll have like a random encounter. We'll take the south road. Oh wait, we need to rest. Let's find a location to rest at. I don't if if we end up random encountering into the Hell Knights, I don't want to get into a fight with them when we're exhausted. Uh let's let's just pick party meal. It's fine. Harem sighs like belly is full. It is good? I sigh, for I am contemplating the emptiness which will consume us all. <laughs> Thanks, Harem. You say, you sigh like belly full. Okay. And yeah, I am should level up, but I think what I'm going to do is, uh, like, stop the stream and restart the stream so I have a separate stream entry just for leveling up. Is there a place for us to stop? I want to stop at a location and talk to Valerie before we get to our capital. Yeah, there's one right there. Let's go right there. So, Valerie, what do you think about uh, losing your, uh, about those events that transpired at the temple there? Focus on I God. am your shield. No, I didn't want to click on the plus sign. Ready for anything. Okay, so you can't, oh my gosh. I need to call Okay, so you can't talk order. to people Becoming here. the distracted okay. leads to becoming dismembered. It's not like uh, other games where you can... Uh, I don't know why I thought I could talk to her. Harem is dead and exiled in your game? What did you do? 
What did you do to Harem to get him dead and exiled? Yeah, I've heard other people talk. Oh, you're, oh, wait, are you playing the evil build? Were you, were you the one that the other day was telling me you were kind of got an evil kingdom? Because Jethal is, uh, it seems like she'd be fun to play. You were going to go that way. I gave my... Oh, he got himself in a crossfire in the old sick of war. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. Aram. He met his end. Oh, now, now everybody bows in front of me as I walk through my king. Hey, bow in front of me, citizen. I like that Hassaf's shop never grows any bigger. Okay, well, I have not seen... Follow my lead. Okay, well, let's just... We don't need to rest. So, I guess we'll just go into the... Let's save first. You're gonna kill Tristan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was missing that skill the other night. I needed to boost something up. And I thought, oh, I'll just use that paladin skill. Oh, what do we got here? Canera is leaning lazily against the wall. The tiefling's expressive eyes glare at you. I was expecting you. How is my queen? I'm sure you must be terribly bored chasing after monsters and defeating enemies over and over again. Don't you want to take a break from the routine and celebrate your triumphant rise to power? You want to have some fun? Sure, why not? <laughs> I like Tristian. Tell me the truth, Canera. Do you really want me or my crown? What do you... Why, that isn't a question a little too forward for an ordinary affair with a passing foreigner. Especially consider how you go cooing with the boy priest. This character is not going to hang out with her anymore. This character has been won over by Tristian and loves him with all her heart. And she's just trying desperately to, to see him fulfilled one day. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, Jethal comes in. I Finally, I have news about the Half-Blood. I expected him to seek shelter somewhere far from your lands, but no, he was spotted not far away. Oh, so where is he? Not far from the Valley of the Dead. Gosh, that's way over on the other freaking side of the world. What a, what a fitting place for this Farsmerite. Desperately trying to rid this world of the undead. Such determination. 
might have been an asset when dealing with Mordecai. But I wish to discuss something else. The Half-Blood was spotted chasing some pauper pilgrim woman. Judging by the things my agent managed to find out, the woman herself may turn out to be quite interesting. To track down the Half-Blood, I had to deal with a whole range of scum. Thieves, vagabonds, grave robbers. One of them located in it, Ennio. But then preyed upon the pauper woman. But then preyed upon the pauper woman. Couldn't miss a chance to rob her blind. And in her handbag, the thief found some ominous writings. Thinking the papers were cursed, he decided to rid himself of them by giving them to me. Do you know what they turned out to be? Excerpts from Serving Your Hunger, the sacred text of Urgothoa's followers. I've examined the papers closely, and now I believe that their owner is a high-ranking priestess of Urgothoa. It seems this half-blood priest... Uh, this half-blood persists in his desire to rid the world of all my goddess's followers. He is skilled at covering his tracks, but... We have to a chance to intercept him. Let's go to the Valley of the Dead and find this priestess before he acts. Then, when he comes for her, well, the servants of any deity should be able to stand up for their faith. Is that not so? Fine. As soon as the opportunity arises, we'll visit the Valley of the Dead. Probably not tonight. Thank you. I want to say this is very important to me. I've grown tired of this, of drowning in silence, hearing near a word from my goddess. I wish to speak with this priestess and try to discover what Ergothoa might be expecting from me. I want answers. Answers from my murderer, among others. I like how her cloak popped up there. That was awesome. Okay, how much time do we have before our curse? Where is it? Here it is. 19 days. 19 days. So, about what happened at the Temple of Prisms. I wish to thank you and apologize. I'm afraid I dragged you into a huge amount of trouble. Trust me, I didn't want any of this, and it saddens me that. Well, saddens me what you've had to endure, but at the same time, I'm happy I had you at my side through all of it. I finally stopped blaming Shaylin for my troubles and found peace. Not that I suddenly came to love the goddess and her stupid followers. <laughs> she smiles faintly. But now I understand. If you want others to respect your choices, you must respect theirs. However ridiculous that they may seem to you. And of course, I'm ready to return to my duties. There are many battles ahead of you. My responsibility is to protect you from any threat. Together we can overcome any obstacle, I'm sure of it. She smiles with just one corner of her mouth. Your enthusiasm reminds me of Lindsay's. In a good way. I'm glad the scar is gone. Ooh. Let's... Glad the scar is gone. Valerie touches her face. At least the world around me has returned to its accustomed place. This morning I found another love note under my door. She chuckles. Although I can't say I missed the extra attention. Okay, let's see if she's changed about being beautiful. For the moment, yes. I'm not going to stalk you like your admirers, but I wanted you to know I've noticed you. Yeah, okay. So now we've done that. We've done that. Okay, that's still going... We still haven't seen that happen yet. I haven't followed up on that. None of these things have happened yet. We still need to get more lands. But I guess Chase My Shadow is the next thing. We have 19 days. It's a shame the undeads do not have an interest in living. <laughs> I have become queen. Yep. All this news. Agreement. Ends in four days. Jamande Aldori is eager to send Swordlord mentors to your lands as a token of support. And friendship. In effect, 
all military academies in the kingdom will provide an additional plus three bonus. All sword lord academies in the kingdom provide an additional. Yeah. Uh, that is expensive. Who should we put on this? Yes. I mean, it... how many days is that going to take? Wait, lots of learning knowledge. Do we need this? This just seems like a drain. Like, let's look this up because we already did the thing. That was one of the things that was supposed to give us the location of Armag's tomb, but we found it another way. Um, what was the name of that event? Lost Dwarven Knowledge. So I'm wondering, like, does this kingdom event have any... Lost Dwarven Knowledge event? Hmm, I don't see my quick... My Googling is failing me. Uh, how about we just say Kingdom Events? Let's, I know there's a list of them. Kingdom Event List. And then let's do Lost... What's this called? Lost Dwarven Knowledge, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to do that. I think that's literally just a thing to get the location of Armag's tomb. This gives us plus three, plus two, plus two. I feel like I should have more. Every region along the Bavarian border with non-military upgrade, the non-military upgrade provides plus two BP per week. Enhance trade with new Svetvin. That's expensive. Why are all these things so expensive? How do they expect you to have that much BP? Now the kingdom is strong and prosperous and can discuss strategic partners with the Bravoy effect. Increase economy by in relation to by seven and provide one BP per week for each Relation rank above six. Enhanced border control. Yeah, well, I like this one. Okay, well, we have 14 days. We'll just let that go. We have 19, 19 days total, is what it said, right? So I, will, I was rounding, yeah, so we'll say 15 days total uh, to give us time to go deal with uh, 
จะฟอลอู้ the traces of rune magic oh yeah then that's gonna tell us all this okay uh I think that might be it I know the way yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna We need to do leveling up. I think what I'm gonna do is take a quick break and we get a fresh drink and a little snack and then get right back on and we'll just do leveling. We're gonna need to get Jethal leveled up. We need to get everybody leveled up. So I will be right 